YouTube, YouTube, it's Rico, man. I'm back with another video. Y'all see what we getting into, man. You already know I had to go ahead and just react to it. A lot of people that already reacted to this, but shit, I like, fuck it. Might as well go ahead and react to it. But it be a young boy, of course, beefing with Kodak Black on, on the whole baby mama and yaya situation that happened at this crib. Man, shit is just crazy. But we finna just hop straight into it. It's just that simple. Hey. I don't even think this is a whole full hey. video either. Say 10. 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 I still look, you don't even know how Kodak was able to even. Shit still questionable, like how. Niggas say I can walk away. Bo, bo, pain, bo, 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 what, you stupid bitch? John Moran on there? Bo, 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 my wife? Is he just sitting there though? Like, what? Like, I need a girl for something. Nah, give me anything she ever asked me for. I ain't never asked her for nothing. She bought me two pairs of shoes. I don't think I ever wore a pair of them bitches, but what, with them black Chanel shoes? Huh? Tell me why this bitch ass nigga spoke on me from jail. Why the fuck you even watching me? You supposed to be a gangster though, but you watching me from jail. Man, you is a bitch. This nigga gonna say, I can rock red. What the <laughs> it's like it just hit his mind again, though. He was like, hold on. Niggas capping. Pretty much, this is how I feel though, man. It's like I get where you coming from, because at the same time, you don't want nobody spreading no messages about you saying you a snitch and doing this and that with the police and all that shit. So I feel him on that one. And then on top of that, Kodak, I don't even know how the fuck Kodak even seeing like or even hearing about this shit. It's like this man, my you not even in the same state. I think they sent him to like, oh yeah, they sent him to New York somewhere at one of the prisons in New York. I don't even know how this nigga is steady able to get on the phone, internet. I don't know if that's. I just don't know how the fuck this nigga finding out about shit that's going on with Young Boy and everybody else on social media and shit. It's just crazy. But at the same time, like I said, I feel why Young Boy mad as fuck because it's like, damn, nigga, like we supposed to be cool. Well, we don't know what's going on behind the scenes, obviously, because Young Boy don't post everything on his social media. We don't know what's going on with him and Kodak, why they fell off, and how long they been beefing or whatever behind the scenes, man. Because for all we know, they could have been beefing for before even Kodak even went to jail. We don't even know what's going on with that shit, like I said. But, uh, yeah, man, you don't ever want to spread that type of message, especially if you don't know what's going on. Because say he didn't cooperate, like Kodak said, like, now you just making it look like you instigated some shit just to have some some funny shit to say, but at the same time, make it look like you talking shit and calling somebody a snitch type shit. So like, motherfuckers ain't fucking with that. So I feel them, like I said, now it's gonna be a problem for young boy just because it's a simple fact. You done call Kodak a bitch and you want all his little homies or whoever he fuck with to come get, at that, get on that with your ass. So pretty much now, you just basically put a target on your back Everybody can be touched. That's how I look at it. But you now you putting a target on your back. Because now once you go to Florida, you got to remember now, 
you can't move a certain way. Like, you can't just move how you want to move when you go to Florida now. Because you already know Kodak got that on lock. People don't recognize the consequences that come from bashing each other on the internet. But like I said, young boy got a, a reason why he doing it. Same with Kodak. Kodak, wherever young boy at type shit, he, watch how he move whenever he get out of prison or whatever, how long that may be. But... Young boy on that, so he told him, that's why he told him, go ahead, get your guys, come and get on that with me. We can see what's up with, with all this shit, everybody talking about me and shit, type shit. Whether it be boxing, shooting, all that shit, from the looks of it, it look like they want all the smoke. It don't matter how, how they trying to handle the situation. It's just, shit, somebody just gonna have to get touched, type shit. So that's just basically what it is. But man, now, for the big, big part of the video... Y'all, y'all just sat there and let this man call her dad a bitch. Everybody know Floyd ass got hands. Like, that nigga 50 old in his career. Nigga beat a UFC fighter in, in a boxing match. But at the same time, you don't ever want to beef with no boxer if you ain't really known for boxing at all. Like, your ass is a regular street nigga. Yeah, you got the music, the money and shit, but at the same time... Floyd is a, a real life fighter. Like, this man can literally end your life with his hands. Simple. Because, one, he could beat you to death or just fuck you up to the point where you're going to have to sit in the crib for a minute because your face is just going to be fucked up. I already know uh, he like the boxing shit too, whatever. I just seen videos of young boy fighting and shit. But at the same time, he don't know actual boxing like Floyd. So it's like. I don't know how he trying to handle that type of situation because now what if Floyd want to do something to him? Then what? The only way it can end is possibly that nigga getting jumped or getting shot. It's just that simple. That's all Floyd left with in that situation. So I don't even think that's going to even happen anyway. I don't even think those niggas, they not even probably going to even link up about that shit. If anything, they just going to be talking to each other over the phone type shit, talking shit or trying to work out their differences, whatever the case may be. But yeah, yeah, man, gotta know better than that, shorty. You can't be with a man that's gonna disrespect your family, especially your pops. That's the last thing you would want as a female is to have a boyfriend, husband, and they don't fuck with your pops for whatever the case may be. Like, it's still it's respect levels to this shit. Like, if another man call your pops a bitch. All respect is gone. <laughs> it's just that simple. Bitch is a, it's a strong word. Like, you don't never want to just say somebody a bitch unless you ready to beat their ass or something or, or whatever the case is. Like I said, all the respect is out the window once you call somebody a bitch. But whatever it is going on with that situation, man, I don't see, I don't think it's real good right now because you can call the man a bitch and everything twice throughout the video. Shit, probably more than that. A bitch ass that. Hell no. It is what it is, man. I don't know what they finna do with this whole little situation, but whatever's going on, man, they just need to figure out a solution to something. It's already too many motherfuckers dying young as hell with talent and shit, man. So just gonna have to wait and see. But yeah, man, that's all I can basically say about this shit. This shit funny as hell, though. But it is what it is, though. But yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she out of pocket for that one. Just sitting there like that, man. Car got a bitch like that. And I don't know what's going on, like that said. So we don't know shit that's going on behind the scenes. They could be having this beef going on for a minute, too. Shit. Whatever the case is, shit. They just not fucking with each other at all. But, uh, yeah, man. Y'all yeah, yeah, look funny as hell just sitting there letting that man call her dad a bitch and everything. Like, ain't no way you supposed to let your boyfriend, husband, whoever disrespect your pops like that. Simple. At the end of the day. They got to respect your family. But like I said, we don't know what's going on with their situation. Shit, anything could have happened that we don't know about and shit. Floyd, obviously, too. He only going to take to the internet with beef with actual people that he actually fought or some shit or was about to fight. Like, you already know how that is when you're a boxer. You're going to talk shit about the other boxer or fighter that's going to fight you in another fight or something on TV pay-per-view, whatever, getting your bread, all that shit. It's part of your, part of y'all networking the fight. 
But this, they ain't gonna go on there just because it's a different type of situation. And then on top of that, Floyd is registered. He can't physically actually just go out and beat somebody ass. He can go to jail, probably prison, just because his hands is actually licensed. Like that nigga can't just be picking fights with nobody and beating their ass. It's gotta be a real sanctioned fight, all that shit. But it is what it is, man. That's all I got to say about it, man. That shit just crazy when I saw this shit, man. This shit came completely out of nowhere. Like I said, Kodak, I don't know how the fuck shit is kind of weird, but hey, man, motherfuckers on quarantine. You ain't got shit to do. You just watching each other and shit. You probably noticing some shit that you ain't never noticed before. This all quarantine bullshit happened. But it is what it is, man. They got bad blood going on. He the call young boy ass a snitch, basically, and all that shit. Call on son, saying he his dad, all that shit. Yo, it's definitely gonna have to be some type of situ situation to happen between them. You know, just that's the only way it's gonna go. Too much disrespect being thrown around and that. But it is what it is, though, man. I'm gonna get to these other videos, and I'm gonna see y'all later on. I need you to give me a